Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make lifestyle and adult coloring videos here on this YouTube channel. And today I'm doing a super exciting video. I am showing you guys my entire eyeshadow palette collection. Now just to get this out of the way, I understand I have a crazy amount of eyeshadow palettes. No person in their right mind needs as many eyeshadow palettes. I used to collect them. I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette in over a year, but I did used to collect them. Um, if you guys don't know this, I used to make makeup videos here on YouTube, and I kind of want to slowly get back into doing some beauty videos. Not all the time, but sometimes. So definitely let me know in the comments if that is something you'd be interested in. I think that that is it for this intro. Make sure to subscribe down below if you're into these kind of videos, and also follow me on Instagram, underscore Michaela.Renee. I am starting basically completely fresh on my Instagram and so ready to make it more of a YouTube Instagram, so I will have that link down below for you guys to check out, but make sure to go follow me both on my coloring Instagram and my normal one. If you want to see more of my finished pages, go to my coloring Instagram and follow that, and if you're more into um, my life, follow my normal just person not really personal Instagram but just my normal Instagram and that's enough for this intro so let's get right into today's video so we are currently just kind of chilling at my Alex unit don't mind the bottom drawer there it's a little bit broken but if we go into this top drawer this is where I keep um, about half of my eyeshadow palettes um, in my drawers so let's just I'm just gonna show you guys all of the palettes I will not be giving you guys any swatches in this video just because that would take, I mean, I'd be here for like three hours if I swatched them all probably longer. So I'm just going to go through the drawer one by one, show you guys the palette, give you guys a little mini review on each one, and that's kind of how this video is going to go. So the first little set here we have are by Bad Habit Beauty. So I think this brand actually is out of like, they don't sell things anymore, but this is the After Party palette. This one is so well used and loved in my collection. It is just a bunch of neutral colors. Next up we have After Dark, also by Bad Habit. And this is just a warm toned palette with a lot of reds. Um, and the only shimmery color in this palette is the gold in the middle, but it is freaking gorgeous. I love it. The next palette we have is After Hours by Bad Habit. This one is just full of pinks. Again, one of my favorite palettes. I really like it. I love all of these palettes. There is not a single palette in my collection that I really don't like. Um, I decluttered it a while ago, but also fun fact is that I haven't bought a palette in over a year. So these are all at least a year old, but that's okay. That is the After Hours. Next up, we have After Glow. And this one is just a bunch of, again, warm tones, but more on the, like, orangey side of warm tones. So we have some pinks and some oranges in this palette. The last palette in my Bad Habit um, little tiny palette collection is Aftershock, and this is the colorful of the fam. Incredibly gorgeous shadows. I really like this palette. I don't use it nearly enough, clearly. I don't... I feel like I've used, like, a couple of the colors for my lower lash line, which is why it doesn't look like it's been used, but I should really dig into this palette more because it is super good and creamy and pigmented. Now moving over to this side of the palette drawer. First off here we have this Tarte palette. This is the Tarte. This is the, oh my gosh, hello. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3, and I got this in a BoxyCharm um, when I used to get BoxyCharm. But it's mostly shimmer shadows and one one matte um, over here. I don't use this one that often. I do like the effect it gives. It's a very um, light, like kind of shimmery effect. But again, I don't use it nearly enough. Next up, we have another Boxy Charm palette. This is the Winky Lux Kitten palette. This is in collaboration with Boxy Charm. Um, honestly, again, I don't use this one that much. Um, it's not the worst palette, also not my favorite. Probably could get rid of it, but I don't know. I keep it around. You never know. This middle color is kind of like that, um, the, like, blue-green, like, red kind of shift color, and I don't have many of that in my- many of those kind of shades in my collection, which is why I keep this around. The next palette I have here is the Tartlet Toasted Palette by Tarte. 
And this palette is just a bunch of warm tones. This is one of my top favorite warm tone palettes of all time. I absolutely am in love with this palette so, so much. Such gorgeous shadows. The next palette we have is Disco Fever by Face Candy, another palette I got on the Bad Habit website. And this is a knockoff kind of dupe palette of one of the Tarte palettes, but I don't exactly, I think it's a, it's either Tarte or Too Faced, but I don't exactly remember the name of the palette, but this is um, the palette. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. I love using this palette for an everyday kind of look because it has just the perfect mattes, I feel, and um, the perfect shimmers. So I love this palette a ton. We are now moving into my Juvia's Place collection. This is the Magic Mini, one of my favorites, honestly. I am actually really into colorful shades on my lid, so I have used, like, the purple in here, the blue in here, the gold in here, just, a, like, a few times, but I really enjoy um, the palette and the looks I get from this palette. If you guys want to let me know in the comments, if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial or a makeup look with any of these palettes, please just let me know in the comments. I really want to film more makeup videos, but this is this palette. Next up, we have the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place, and this is just the palette. This is a very um, colorful um, top half of the palette, and then a pretty neutral bottom half, like a warm tone bottom half and a colorful top half. I haven't really dug into the colors in this palette, but I have used the bottom half a decent amount. I really enjoy this palette. Another Juvia's Place palette is the Nubian 2, and this is one of their most neutral palettes, I think. Um, there's only like two pops of color in here, really, um, Cleopatra and Egypt. I haven't used this one that much at all. But again, the color payoff is amazing. I would never give it away, I just don't really ever, ever wear it. But again, I've been trying to get back into wearing makeup more, so hopefully I'll wear this in the near future. We are going to move into these um, palettes now. I have one not Juvia's Place and then three more Juvia's Place. This is Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and it is just um, a fairly neutral palette um more on the warmer side with a pop of blue uh, this is a palette again i have not used that often but i do enjoy it when i use it this isn't one of my favorite boxy charm palettes i've ever gotten but it's not it's not terrible not the best not the worst now moving into our last three juvia's place palettes we have the saharan palette and this is probably again one of my favorite Juvia's Place palettes. Just look at these warm tones mixed with that kind of like bluish red color in the corner right over here, right right here. It's a little hard to see the tri or it's a little hard to like point the tripods in the way and I don't really want to ruin uh, the shot I'm getting but this is just this palette. Really really gorgeous shadows. Probably my all-time favorite Juvia's Place palette is this one. This is the Warrior by Juvia's Place, and it is because it is a bunch of gold shadows. I am a sucker for a good gold eyeshadow. I love wearing gold on my eyes. Um, I just think it's gorgeous on my hazel eyes, so I tend to gravitate towards gold shadows a lot, and this is just a perfect palette. It has so many golds and, like, taupes, and it's, it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. If I had to recommend just one Juvia's Place palette, I'd personally pick this one. The last Juvia's Place palette I have is the Saharan 2, and this one also very stunning. I feel like I'm saying that about, like, all my palettes, but this is also really stunning. It just kind of has some pinky tones, red tones, and some pops of blue. Um... It could probably benefit from a little bit of a lighter transition, but I do know that these palettes are intended for darker skin tones, so I'm definitely not knocking them for that. Um, I just kind of dig into a different palette if I need a lighter transition tone, because these for my skin tone are fairly dark on the bottom row. But again, this is a palette I adore. Alright, we are moving into the last palettes up here, and these are a little bit big uh, because they are my Morphe palettes. But the first one is 35G Bronze Goals, and this one is just full, full of these warm tones. Absolutely stunning, um, except one problem is that they do not work that well. I think Morphe since has reformulated this palette, but I did get it right when it came out, and there was a lot of issues with the um, shimmers not really picking up.
but I think they've changed that since. Um, so I don't really use this palette much, but it's so gorgeous. I just, I can't like part with it. I love all my Morphe shadows a ton and I just can't part with them. If you are a makeup junkie, then you know about this palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, like the first one. And these are the shades. I have used and abused this palette so much. This is probably my most used palette. I travel with it uh, when traveling was a thing. This is the palette I would travel with. I brought this thing like to Europe, like not multiple times, like twice. Um, I brought it out of state a bunch of times. This is just a fantastic travel palette, in my opinion. So now we are getting into other Morphe palettes that I really need to use more. I kind of forget they exist because they're so big and in the back of my drawer, but this is the Morphe. This is the 3502 palette, and this is the fantastic, super duper warm toned orange palette that they have. I think it's absolutely just a stunning palette. You could get so many amazing warm looks with this palette. I love it. Next up is another Morphe palette. This is the 35R palette. Oh yes, okay, so this one is their more gold toned palette. Again, another palette I really enjoy using when I do use it because it has a bunch of golds. Unfortunately with these palettes, a lot of the colors do look the same, especially on the eyes. But again, I just, I really like it, so I don't know. I keep it around because I like it. The next big palette here we have is the Morphe 35F palette. This is their Fall Into Frost palette where most of the palettes are shimmer shades and then the bottom row right here is the um, the only mattes in the palette. I have not used this in a while, unfortunately. I feel like I haven't used a lot of these in a while just for the sheer reason that I wasn't wearing makeup for a while. Um, so I feel like once I get into wearing makeup again more, like... I'll, I'll pull out these shadows more, but this is just a gorgeous fall toned palette. Next in the Morphe line, we have the Morphe 35OS palette. So this is the 35O palette, but all shimmer shades because I am a sucker for shimmer shades. I absolutely love shimmery eyeshadows. 100% just my, my, my shit, honestly, is um, shimmer shadows. So I've used Oops, sorry. I have abused this shade in particular just to death in this palette, but I love this palette so much. We are finally getting into the last two palettes, but it's so hard to show you guys this. This is the James Charles and Morphe palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this palette a bunch. It's not even really fitting in frame, so I kind of have to sit it on top of here, but this is just a super colorful and super neutral palette. It has neutrals on the top, colorful shades on the bottom, and transitions in the middle. Again, a palette I really need to use more because this palette is just fantastic. I'm so happy I have it. I got it when it first came out and I, I'm just, I'm thrilled with this palette. Last but not least in this top drawer is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. This was a holiday release, but they actually, I think, have it now. Um, last time I checked, so like a year ago, which could have changed by now, but they, they made it a permanent palette which is great because it's it's gorgeous. Um, you have like four different quadrants. You have a neutral one on the top left. You have a warm tone on the top right. You have kind of a olive -y tone on the bottom right and a blue tone on the bottom left. And in the middle, you just have a bunch of transitions. It is absolutely stunning and perfect and I love it. And that was the entirety of the top drawer. So let's move into the next drawer. And now we are moving into my second drawer of eyeshadow palettes, which again, I know is crazy. This is a crazy amount of eyeshadow palettes. Nobody needs this amount of eyeshadows, truly, but I just enjoy makeup a ton. And that's why I have so many palettes, but let's just get right into this section. Um, I'm thinking of going this way, back around toward this. So we are gonna start out with these two palettes. These are by Bad Habit. This is the Athena palette. This is, I know, a, like a knockoff dupe palette of, um, let's see, a Hu Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. I, I haven't really watched much makeup in a while, so I don't exactly remember what the palette's called. But this is just a very pink-toned, just beautiful, beautiful palette. I have yet to try the loose glitter, 
well it's not really loose it's pressed but a pressed kind of loose glitter they can't be both but that's okay um in this palette but I really want to eventually but yeah this is this palette Next up, we have the Aphrodite palette by Bad Habits. This is another Huda Beauty knockoff, but I really like this palette. I think it works really well. I feel like I've said this before, but if you want to let me know in the comments any palettes you want to see a tutorial with or just me play around with, definitely let me know. I'd love to do that. Next up, we have another Bad Habit palette. This is the Mythos palette. I think this is a Pat McGrath dupe palette. The gold in this palette, just in this upper right corner, is absolutely everything. I adore, adore this gold. This palette's really nice. Again, could probably benefit from another lighter transition shade, but um, it's totally fine. Just kind of dig into another palette and you have, you know, your transitions. And I have a palette I use specifically for all my transitions if it doesn't come in a palette that I will show you guys in a minute. The next palettes we are going to get into are my babies. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This is the Modern Renaissance. I'm not going to lie, I've had some of these palettes for quite a few years, but nothing about them seems bad. I really think if you take care of your eyeshadow palettes, you won't need to get rid of them necessarily. Um, I think they will last if you take good care of them. And this is the Modern Renaissance. Next we have Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one is stunning. I don't use this one nearly enough but I really should because it has some beautiful just neutral, honestly pretty warm toned shades but it's just stunning. I love bronze, um, rose pink is really pretty. I really need to dig into this. I kind of want to do a look with the dusty rose and the rose pink. Those could look really good together. Who knows, maybe this week I'll give that a shot but... Yeah, again, another palette I love. Next up, I have Norvina by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my all-time favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Just look how absolutely stunning this is, first of all, but all of the shimmers are so good. The only one I haven't really played with is Wild Child, and I really should, but every other shimmer in this palette is so pretty. You could just throw any of these on your lid and a couple of these colors in your crease, and you just have a beautiful look. For my hazel eyes, I super enjoy putting Summer, Rose Gold, and Celestial on my eyes. Not all together, but like one of those colors popped on the lid. Just looks stunning, and as you guys can tell, I have used so much of the shadow. It is ridiculous, but that is this palette. Now we have some more face candy palettes. This is the Sahara palette. It's a really nice warm-toned palette. Let's see if I can get it to focus now on the whole palette now that I messed up the focus a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is the Sahara palette. I know you guys can see me a little bit in the in the mirror, but yeah, this is super duper pretty, super warm toned. I love it. Again, don't use it enough, but when I do use it, I love it. Next up, we have Retro Love by Bad Habit. This is an Anastasia palette um, dupe, and I again, I don't know why I can't think of any of the names of the palettes this is a dupe for. I used to know my palette so, so well, and now I just really don't, but I didn't want to spend the money on the Anastasia version of this palette because it doesn't have tones that I wear all the time, so I got this one instead, and I absolutely love it. Revolution is such a pretty gold in this palette. I, I love it. Um, this palette just really works. I love it a lot. Next up, we have another Bad Habit palette for another Anastasia palette. This is Aura, and this... Again, I don't remember the name of the actual palette it is supposed to be duping. And I'm so sad that Bad Habit doesn't sell anymore. Um, I know it's super controversial for them to be selling dupe palettes, but at the end of the day, I did what I did, I bought what I did. I don't really care, personally, but that's okay. And this is just this palette. Super stunning. I love the ethereal, sh the ethereal shade. It is gorgeous. Next up, we have another face candy palette. This is Sugar, and I believe this is a dupe for the Peaches palette by uh, Too Faced. Really pretty colors. I don't use it super often. Not super my favorite color palette. I'm not super into these peach tones, but it is nice for a specific look when you want it, so I have it. Next up, we have the Bad Habit Artistry 2 palette. This is, again, a dupe. But if I'm being honest, I'm not entirely sure what palette this is duping. I do not use this one super often, even when I was doing my makeup a lot. 
Um, something about it wasn't calling my name as much as the others, but this one is still very, very gorgeous. Next up, we have Bad Habit Inferno, and I know this one is a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, which at the time, there were so many warm tone palettes coming out, um, so I just at the end of the day decided to get this one. I have so many warm tone palettes. I mean, I probably have these same shades like 20 times over in my collection, but I obviously needed this, so I got it. I like it. It's nice. It's nice getting to switch up your palettes, even if they kind of end up looking all the same. I just like having the options. Let me know if you're similar to me. Next up is the normal Bad Habit Artistry palette. Again, another dupe. Um, I believe this is a dupe for the um, Anastasia and Mario palette. It's been a while since I've said that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the dupe palette is for this one. It's just a super neutral palette, couple pops of like dull color, the green and the blue. They can look very neutral on the eye as well. I've used this palette a few times. I do really like it. I like all of Bad Habits palettes. I think they're made really nicely considering the price point of them. They were pretty inexpensive. This was another palette that I got in my BoxyCharm. This is the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. This is a perfect fall eyeshadow palette. The colors to me just scream fall time with the golds and um, I mean the bright pink maybe not as much but I mean the golds and the bronze and honestly this is just absolutely stunning. I've worn this a few times and I've always loved the looks that came out with it. Next up, we have a couple more Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palettes. This one is, um, I'm actually unsure which one this is. Okay, this one is, I believe, the Bling Boss palette. I think that's what it's called. It just has, um, cool tones and, like, purpley kind of shades. Really, really stunning palette. Um, the mattes are a little hard to blend at times, but I usually get over it because it's super pretty. And then we have my other Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Ring of the Alarm palette, and this one is just full of warm-toned shades. Love this one a ton, too. The shimmers in this palette are really stunning, I think. Next up, we have Revolution Makeup. This is the palette I always reach into when I need transition shades. This is the Light and Shade palette, I believe. It is, um, they are knocking off the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I think. Um, I think this one's really pretty because if you don't have certain transition shades in other palettes, you're probably going to find it in this one. One of the three quadrants are neutral, one's warmer, one's cooler toned. It's a little hard to tell on camera, but I enjoy this palette a ton when I need transition shades. This was another palette I got in a BoxyCharm a while ago. This is the Alamar Cosmetics um, Rena Del Caribe um, eyeshadow palette. I love this thing so much. That top right greenish color is absolutely stunning on the eyes. Oh my goodness, I love it. But this is just this palette I got in an epoxy charm and it's gorgeous. Here we have another Bad Habit palette. This is the Solstice palette. This is another just warm toned palette. This is a knockoff of the, I hate saying the word knockoff because I don't really think that's correct, a dupe palette, but every time I say it, I always just say knockoff. I always mean dupe palette when I say knockoff, but this is a dupe palette of a um, Natasha Denona. I want to say this, it's a sunset, that doesn't seem right. I really wish I had done more research on my products before coming on to this video, but I hope you guys don't mind too much and are just enjoying seeing the palettes. But this is, um, this palette, I love it a ton. I don't use it super often, but when I do use it, I love how it comes out. Okay, hopefully, um, the camera didn't move too, too much. I just kind of knocked over. But the next palette I have here is the Pure Festival palette. I think I got this one in a boxy charm too a while ago. This is the palette, just some good neutrals with some pops of glitter and color. Super gorgeous palette, one that I don't use that often, but it is very pretty for days that I want to go out of my comfort zone a little bit with the glitter. I really want to try 24 Karat Magic. It sounds amazing. I should try it. It's this uh, greenish glitter shade. It's the greenish glitter shade. Next up is the Profusion Sienna's palette. Um, I, again, I have a ton of warm tone shades in my collection, so this is a palette that tends to get neglected just a tiny bit. It's not the worst 
warm tone palette I've ever tried, but it isn't spectacular by any stretch either. So now we have one of my all-time favorite BH palettes. This is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette, and these are all baked warm tone shimmer shadows. Oh my goodness, it is so, this whole palette is stunning. My favorite shade is probably the Photosphere shade. A lot of them do look very similar, but they have different undertones. This is just an absolutely stunning palette. Great to pair with that, that matte palette I showed you guys earlier. The next palette I have here is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. This is again one of those um, very warm toned palettes with um, a couple pops of blue in it. This is really gorgeous. I might actually have to pull this palette out in the spring or summertime because I don't use it nearly enough. But it's gorgeous and it comes with uh, a few highlighters um, over here if you guys can tell. It comes with a few different highlighter options that I need to utilize more because I never use them. So I have a couple more Morphe palettes to show you guys. This is the Morphe 25A palette. This is the warm toned out of the two 25 color palettes. And I actually think if they're still selling this palette that they're actually selling it in different packaging now. In like the normal black packaging, but this is like a clear top packaging. But this is the warm toned palette. Absolutely stunning. Love it a ton. And then we have the cooler toned version, which is 25B. I truly think some of the mattes kind of are the same in both palettes, even maybe a couple of the shimmers. But the overall vibe of this palette is a ton just more cool toned, and the other one's just more warm toned. Um, I don't know if I really needed both at the time, but I got both at the time. Again, it's been over a year since I bought any sort of eyeshadows, so... I haven't bought a new eyeshadow palette in a year, and clearly I don't need any more, but I might get one one of these days, who knows. We are finally moving into the last little section here. This is the Marvelous Mauves by Dose of Colors. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Haven't used it a ton, but it's just a nice little um, palette that has a bunch of mattes, and it's all mauve tones, so really cool toned. I think this could pair really well with the 35 OS Shimmer, one of those like cooler toned shimmers in that palette. I think that could work really, really well. And then next we have this Butter London palette. This is one I probably could part with um, eventually just because I don't really ever use it. I don't even know which like palette it is. It's not really... Okay, there we go. The Natural Goddess palette. Um, it's pretty. I don't use it. I've used, I think, that Gold Diva shade like once. Um, I should really pull this out again, see how I feel about it a year later. Next up, we have the Violet Voss Essential Palette. And this palette just has um, just your very neutral shades. Um, it's super nice. I really wish this palette had a, um, like, a champagne kind of color. Um, I think the, like, most neutral lid you're gonna get is maybe using, like, the pink shade. I don't know. I, I think this could be a little bit more neutral, but it is still good. I got it in a boxy charm. Can't complain. So now I have a few more Violet Voss palettes to show you guys. This is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette in top, Taupe Notch. Not Top Notch. Taupe Notch. And it is a super cool toned palette. Absolutely stunning. Violet Voss is honestly one of my favorite eyeshadow brands. I I love it. I, I truly recommend you get them. I don't think they're like done selling anymore. I really, sh I'm certain they still have a shop. Uh, Violet Voss is just amazing. The next Violet Voss eyeshadow palette I have is the HG palette and this is the warmer toned version of the Taupe Notch palette. As you guys can tell, just super nice warm tones. Um, there are a couple cool tones, like Cool Beans, um, but this palette is just stunning. I've used this one a ton too, especially the Toffee shade, Cool Beans. I've used those a ton. Absolutely stunning. I might actually film a look with this for my channel because I really like this palette a ton and I want to show you guys what I do with it. Don't worry, friends, we're getting to the end. Um, this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette in Hashtag. This is probably my favorite Violet, Violet Voss palette out of the three because of how colorful these shadows are and it just has some golds and overall just a really stunning palette. I think it's completely different than the other two just because it's a little more like colorful and I really like it. I wore this one a ton too. I want to do maybe like, I think it'd be really cool to do a video where I show you guys all three of the palettes and like some different looks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But 
yeah, this is the um, H, no, the hashtag palette. We are finally moving into the second to last palette. This is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette by BH Cosmetics. You guys remember when this was all the hype on YouTube? I remember. I've used that taupe color, um, this one, just to death. But it comes with some highlighters, some bronzers. It has some warm tones and cool tones. Just perfect, I feel like, for travel. Although I don't think I've ever traveled with it, but I think it'd be really good to travel with. Because you get everything. Last but not least, we have the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. This is the Zodiac Love Signs palette. I have not really played around with this palette nearly as much as I should have. But just look how gorgeous these are. Ooh, it wants to focus on just like one shadow at a time. This is the palette. It's stunning. Um, let's see where Taurus is. That's my sign. Oh, it's the... This color right here is the Taurus color. Stunning. I really like this palette when I have used it, but I haven't used it in a while. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me in the future let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and if you actually stayed till the end definitely let me know I know this video was on the longer side but I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys